Hey guys, this is Neil. Welcome back to my channel. Today will be my first time painting with Arches on press paper. I was so lucky to have my friend Tracy who kindly sent me a bunch of watercolor paints and paper to try out. So thank you again Tracy for giving me the opportunity to try these out. So today I will be trying the Arches hot pressed and if you followed me on this channel for a while you probably know that I bought a watercolor sketchbook once with Fabriano hot press paper and it has 25% cotton and if you only paint one layer it looks fine it looks great actually but layering really didn't go well on that paper because the paper didn't absorb the paint but just stood on the surface and because of that the paint became really streaky when you're trying to layer because when I'm painting on more paint it looked like I was just moving the paint around on the surface which lead to the streakiness it's such a shame because I really like the size of the sketchbook but I don't think I would watercolor on it I actually haven't gone back to that sketchbook since I have a new sketchbook for me to fill in so getting back to arches Tracy wanted me to try out the arches hot press paper I know that Arches is such a renowned brand for watercolor paper. I've tried the cold press and the quality is amazing, but I still didn't know what to expect from the hot press paper. Since my last watercolor paper had problems with layering, I decided to paint a food illustration, which actually requires a fair bit of layering, especially to build up the color vibrancy usually. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts and opinion on the paper. I didn't really do any other tests on it but I just did a food illustration straight away so my experience may also differ with yours this is just what I thought I don't want to make any claims because I believe that depending on your painting style you might require different materials that would suit you for this video I'm painting this dish called chawan mushi it's a Japanese dish usually served as an appetizer it's basically steamed egg with dashi or bonito broth and the egg is so silky smooth and has a texture of somewhat like a flan but a savory version of it you can add lots of different toppings so I decided to do a few so I can try painting different types of textures and surfaces with this paper so just to summarize, since I know that there are a few of you who are new to watercolor, the basic gist of it is that there's cold pressed paper, which is a textured paper and is most commonly used, whilst hot pressed paper has smooth surface, and this is the one that I'm using for this painting, and there's also rough, which has a rough texture. I've never used that before, but I think a lot of people say it's good for a looser type of painting. The first thing that I noticed is how crisp the lines are as I was painting this because the surface is so smooth the lines fall exactly at the same place as I've painted it compared to the cold press paper where the paint is usually distributed around the tooth and the texture of the paper which makes the lines a touch less crisp. The difference isn't overly dramatic or anything though but I do feel the pressure of being a bit more accurate with my painting since there's this feeling of not being able to hide the lines unless I blur everything together. Number two, I find that hot press paper tend to dry faster. So if I want to do a wet on wet technique, I find that I have to paint pretty quickly or else the paint would dry off already and I wouldn't be able to make the effect. When I did some research on this, I heard that this is due to the flat texture where the cold pressed is textured. It's like having tiny bowls of water compared to water on a flat surface, which would dry off way faster. For the third point, I'm not actually sure if it's due to my error, but what I usually do when I paint is I tend to rub one area for a bit too long maybe, especially when I try to smooth out a wet surface. When I was doing this, I found some specks that looked like damaged fibers. I don't know that if there's an issue with durability or maybe I'm painting a bit too rough. However, in other paper that I found had weak fibers, the paint would just go everywhere, completely out of control and bleeding in places I don't want it to bleed. But on this paper, it was still controllable and in the end when it dries off, I couldn't really see any of the damages. So I hope you guys will fill me in on this if you guys can see it in the video. I also know that a lot of you are far more experienced than I am with watercolors and I appreciate all the information you leave in the comment section. I would really love 
to hear what you have to say about this. I love that we can exchange a lot of information on this platform. The last point that I'd like to make is the vibrancy of color. I've also heard that this is due to the smooth surface. I see quite a distinct difference when I'm painting on this compared to the cold press. I find that the colors are way more intense on this hot press paper. When I paint on cold press paper, whenever the paint dries off, it became quite dull and this is something that you have to keep layering on to increase the intensity of color. Whereas on this hot press, even when I'm painting a lighter color with a lot of water, the color doesn't become dull, it just stays light but it still has a certain intensity. This feature really helped with minimizing the amount of layers I paint and I think it saves a lot of time. I totally love this about this Arches hot press paper. With that said, Arches cold press paper also has way better intensity than other brands of watercolor paper but hot press brings it to a different level. Because of this smooth surface, this paper is also ideal for scanning images without getting the textures of the paper in your scans, so it's definitely really useful. I think this is actually my favorite paper that I've ever painted with so far, even compared to the Arches Cold Press. It really suits my needs for an illustrative approach on watercolor. I guess it still depends though, because I do a lot of food illustrations, I would definitely use this paper, but as for landscape paintings, I think cold press would be better suited. Unfortunately, where I live, this is not an easy paper to come by. I've only seen the hot press online and they're actually quite pricey. I luckily got my Arches cold press for 15 US dollars and I was able to ship it to my uncle's house in the States when my parents were visiting them, so it didn't really cost me too much. But if I were to get them here, it would be easily more than double the price. So I'm happy that I got the opportunity to try this paper because I don't think I would have spent that much money on something that I was uncertain about. So I don't think I would have even given this a go if Tracy didn't send the paper over to me. With that said, I still have a lot of stock on my affordable Canson XL and Canson Montval, so I'm just going to stick with them for my sketchbooks and use these Arches paper if I want to do something a bit more special. I'm actually really happy with how this painting turned out in the end though. The colors are so nice compared to what I'm used to. I think the paper would take a bit of practice for me to get used to due to the fast drying aspects of the paper and how accurate I have to be due to the crisp edges this paper produces. I'm also still curious if I'm being a bit too rough with this paper. Is cotton more delicate to paint with and maybe I'm just too used to using um, cold press cellulose paper. I would really appreciate it if any of you who are more experienced in this could give me some insight on this matter. I think that's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys enjoy this painting process and I'll get back to you guys close to the end of this video.
This painting is actually done by now, but as a last minute decision, I felt like the blue of the cup would look really nice with specks of gold instead of just brown. So I used my Fine Tech Gold palette to add some gold accents on the cup and on the leaves. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint this and try the Arches Hot Press paper. I hope you guys learned something new. Thank you again, Tracy, for sending me a watercolor care package. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye! <laughs>